Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. Crime concerns in New Orleans East after two shootings within hours of each other. The NOPD says two children were shot last night and this morning a woman was found shot and killed inside a vehicle. Well, the council member for that area says that he has been working to try to reduce crime. WDSU reporter Shay O'Connor live with why council member Oliver Thomas believes his approach has been working. Shay. Gina and Sala, NOPD hasn't released much information about either crime, but are urging anyone with information to come forward anonymously. People, people don't have no morals no more at all. Like, people just, everybody won't be big and bad, though. A violent night in New Orleans East after police say a woman was found shot to death inside this vehicle off Chef on Lonely Oak Drive. The shell casings tell the story of yet another female victim of gun violence here in the city. Ricole works nearby. That could have been us. Because we, we was literally just leaving work. We, you know, we dancers, but we was just leaving work. We left there an hour before that happened. Just hours before, a 10-year-old girl and 13-year-old boy rushed to the hospital after being shot along Curran Boulevard in Littlewoods. I just can't wait until we get to a society where our children are safe, our women are safe, uh, and our families are safe. People who live in this area say they're not shocked by the crime. A big concern, not enough police presence or streetlights. By us being at the end, like in Littlewoods, we all the way in the back. This is where people drop off their dead dogs. They do. They, they need to clear out these woods. It's something Councilman Oliver Thomas says he's been working on and beefing up community partnerships and NOPD visibility as much as possible. Despite a short-staffed NOPD, he touts the progress New Orleans East has made. We like the fact that uh, violent crime is down 41% in this district. Uh, we like the fact that most uh, overall major crimes are going down. But to con as we continue to have our kids, 10 and 13 year old, be victims of perpetrators of violent crime, that shows that Something's wrong with our foundation. Gina and Sella and NOPD urging anyone who knows anything about these two crimes to reach out to Crime Stoppers at 822-1111. Reporting live from Mid-City, NOPD headquarters, Shay O'Connor.
Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.